I mean, I, I was starting to have anxiety and panic attacks. Like it's not, it's still a thing. Like this anxiety and, and panic attacks, they're a freaking thing. I don't know about you guys, but I, I feel like if you ever have gone for surgery, I feel like that right before I'm going under, like I am going out. Like I'm not blacking out, but I just feel like, ugh, like it's a good feeling, but it's a passing out, but I'm not passing out and I still can see and I'm still, you know, co cognitive, cognitively, like I'm still functioning. It's the weirdest damn thing. Went to the doctor's freaking hormones. It was like, Whoa, out of whack. <laughs> like, oh my God, the women have to go through all of this shit. <laughs> what the hell? And I'm like, ah, oh, this is what menopause is. Now I'm really lucky because I don't get the super hot, hot flashes and I don't sweat 24 hours a day. I don't, because I've chose to eat pretty damn good my whole life. So my body has been pretty healthy. And I think that really is a big outcome on this. So I don't know what the anxiety thing is. I think it's a mixture of many things in the last two, three years. Um, it's not an excuse, but I notice it when I drink coffee more than anything. It happens. It happens. So if I want coffee, I can't have a full cup of coffee anymore. I, for there's something in it. I think there's arsenic in it. <laughs> That's what, I'm like, someone's trying to kill us in our coffee. What the hell? Especially the brand my husband buys. It's shit. I don't know why he buys that shitty coffee because he likes it. But I started drinking it and I started feeling like this. I'm like, that's it. There's poison in it. There's arsenic. And I've never ate shit like this in my life. And I'm not starting. I'm, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I, I'm going to revert to my tea, which is good because I have a lot. I have must have like 50 to 75 different organic teas I drink. I might as well just stick to that. I love my tea. Period. Done. There we go. Anyway. But then I, I was learning that, uh, you know, that my sedentary choices were putting my health at risk and I got moving again. You know, I know what's right. I know, you know, boom, boom, boom. I know what I got to do. You know, I see something, I vision it, I look at the end result in my head, boom, 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 pew, and I'm there. I know I got to get moving. So, I mean, I love exercising and I love the benefits that it has. And so... I mean, I went from like almost like physical, mental depletion to being reinvigorated and healthy. You know what I mean? I mean, to me, those are pretty heavy words because I never was like physical and mentally depleted. And I can't say that 100% honestly, but I felt like it because I'd never been there before. Right. So I, I couldn't even imagine what it would be like 100%. So I could, oh, I can only imagine. So, but I mean, for, for those who don't exercise, I empathize with your dread and and as you begin to read you know and just you know read things about healthiness you know healthiness and food and exercising you know just stuff like that I mean it's going to be it's just going to be a, a little bit better I I, I, I promise because I, I I promise that being more active doesn't have to involve going to the gym guys it really don't you just heard what I do around the house here right okay so that I mean you guys can be really creative you can do full to total body workouts it, it's amazing there's a few women out there that you know that are, are in their you know 30 40 50 60 70 80s that are exercising and you feel comfortable with ever any which one of them follow them on you know social media and uh or do what they do and listen to them because if you resonate with them, it's going to help you a lot. Find what you like, not what everybody else likes. Ask questions, but do what you, what makes, you know, that makes you happy. All right. But just remember, you don't need to go to the gym. And it, it's just that, it's just that some, some kind of daily movement is necessary for resilient aging. Like, yes. Um, the goal is to have our health span match our life span. Do I need to read that again? <laughs> it's, I mean, our goal is to have our health span match our lifespan. Yes. Extending longevity isn't so desirable unless those bonus years are vigorous and happy by, by being physical 
and being super active and somehow every day we improve our well-being now and for the duration and so proper exercise can i mean it can just prevent health problems as well as enable us to regain functioning when when our bodies falter and just like mine was like with my knee and the whole total knee replacement and Seek out medical assessment and guidance to find the right kind of exercise, physical therapy, treatment, and, you know, when you experience a health setback, watch out for the, for the assumption that any physical injury or ailment is just the beginning of to the end because it's not. And just remember that lesson one, and, and, and just remember, if you remember when we first started back in that lesson one episode there, and turn away from the fatalistic passive view all right and just instead and just be optimistic about aging and your mindset and get medical help to regain your health and capacity for physical activity everything is about mind over matter right so in aerobic erics uh, excuse me <laughs> aerobic air exercise is the best way to prevent disease and lengthen the lifespan by increasing your heart rate at least to the point of sweating a bit. You've got to sweat. And then just keep that for a little bit, right? We activate a more vigorous pumping of blood through our circulatory system. And uh, this blood flow, like, it delivers necessary nutrients to our organs while removing cellular excretions. So important. And the activity of our organs, especially the brain, generates lots of waste. Oh, my God. Lots of waste. And then when we don't exercise, we leave our system sitting in cellular poop, (laughs) basically. I mean, gross, right? So now when I work up a sweat, it's more tolerable because I imagine a hazmat team and catering crew circulating through my body and cleansing and nourishing my organs to keep them healthy and high functioning. I mean, just, you know, that's kind of weird, but whatever. So anyway, cardio exercise helps prevent like heart disease, stroke, dementia, and some forms of cancer. It will also help the body and mind to feel strong and invigorated i don't know about you but i feel like i can move mountains and big buildings afterwards and whoo it's like just great sex i'm just saying so just the basic goal is guys just don't move don't sit you know get away from that idiot tube the tv and i i've 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 done it you know like if i'm taking a bath then that's when i'll i'll do like binge watching and catching up on series or i'll read a book in the tub right Um, if I'm at the airport, I'm either reading or catching up on TV or stuff. That's when I choose. Otherwise you're wasting time in front of that freaking idiot box, right? I mean, there's some fun things to watch here and there, playing games and football and WrestleManias and, and whatnot. But yeah, there's stuff like that. So the basic goal is just to move more often and avoid long periods of sitting and our cult our culture is you know designed around sitting sitting in our car sitting in our desk sitting on the couch i mean we need to be intentional about getting up at regular intervals and consider setting a timer on your watch at least hourly for stretching and movement they say this all the time like if you're on an airplane i don't know about you but i drive the people crazy i'm up and down this damn thing like I always moving my feet. I'm up walking. I mean, whew, that's why I always ask for an aisle seat. Like, that's it. And just look for natural opportunities to move. Let, let, take out your dog. Um, fold laundry standing up. Don't sit. Get up and pace while you're talking on the phone. Now, that's just me. I'm all over the place. I have ADHD, ADB, QRST, blah, like bad. So anyway, and then just, you know, go out in your garden, walk around, fix things. Just schedule walking meetings at work or just just walk, you know. Maybe that's something you need to do with your partner. Schedule walking now at night or, you know, before, after dinner and stuff like that, right? Balance and strength training help with prevention of arthritis and osteoporosis and um, osteoporosis and 
falls. So, you know, work with an ex- an ex- expert athletic trainer um, who can safely orient you to these activities because there's going to be things that you don't know how to, you know, your certain machines. Maybe there's stuff you want to know about heart rate. Um, how long do you keep a heart rate at a certain level that you know you're burning calories? So there's a lot of great beneficial, you know, things to hiring a coach all right or strength coach or you know just uh, a trainer um a, a coach always hires a coach a trainer always hires a trainer there's no reason to be embarrassed that good people excellent people successful people and people that want results do do that period right um so just work with an expert athletic trainer who can safely orient you on these activities. And if mobility is a problem, um, they can also show you ways to get your heart rate up safely while you're seated in a chair. There are remarkable ways nowadays. Also look for more enjoyable ways to focus on balance and strength, such as taking a dance or a yoga class. I mean, there's some, I mean, there's some intense classes you can take. Like I was just talking to my husband, like, I want to do something different. Let's take a dance class, <laughs> something different together and have fun, right? So learning unfamiliar fitness activities have a double benefit. Like I just said with your husband, it feels sexy. Mm-hmm. You never know, right? So just learning an unfamiliar anything is quite uh, wonderful because you get to face your fear you get to learn how to break through that and you are creating new brain connections as we discussed like in like lesson five like the one you couldn't hear which I need to discuss because it's about your brain and it's so important um, and it improves your physical and well-being plus exercising sustains the brain's awareness of body location and it maintains the like the existing communication between the brain and the feet like movement Oh, you find yourself ever tripping, falling to it? Yeah, it's because that disconnect. Maybe you need a cleanse. That's how you start all of this too, a cleanse. We'll talk, we need to get into that too. Before you start anything, you should just like do a whole body cleanse and then start whatever you're going to do. Make sure you're getting sleep. Oh my God, this can go on and forever, ever. Anyway, let me continue. So with any form of fitness activity, pay attention to your exercise mindset. Like stay focused, don't. Don't don't let anything else around you or interrupt. Don't sit there, look on your phone and look at messages. I mean, for a damn sake, take some time for yourself. Get off the fucking phone. God damn. That <laughs> would piss me off. Ugh. I, if I was your t- if I was your like your timer, your watch, I'd if I could come out of the phone and if you were checking on me like my chat, I would slap you. How was that? Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Then we have that. Anyway, Older people have a harder time catching themselves when they stumble. And and the reason for this is because their reaction time and body awareness has slowed with like faltering uh, neural networks between the brain and their extremities. And this breakdown can be prevented with regular exercise and rebuilt with guided physical therapy. Like my hand coordination, my eye, like if I go to drop something, even to this day, and I mean, it's heavy or it's quicker than whatever. For some reason, I can catch it before it even hits the floor. Like, who still can do that? Who drops something and it always hits the floor? I tell you, not, I can drop something and it's like a bounce. I'm telling you, not, shit you not, I catch it before it hits the floor. Now, once in a great while, it'll hit the floor. But Or I know exactly where it went, and I can go right there and pick it up. It's just the strangest thing I've always noticed about myself. But anyway, with any form of fitness activity, pay attention to your exercise mindset. And this just stay focused on your health rather than weight loss, okay? Muscle weighs more than fat, y'all. And um, as you're rational, you know, as you're rational for exercise. And so a surprising finding in the aging research is that fitness generally matters more than weight for longevity. Yes, I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not, okay, just same. not saying that's good, but I'm just saying that, okay? All right. So if we focus on exercise only to lose weight, then people who are genetically thinner think they don't need to exercise because they're already slim, 